Hi, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com. I had a friend call me the other day and ask me what to buy for a soldering iron to solder some wires together. And of course I had to ask them what they were doing because there's lots of different types of uh, soldering irons that work uh, different for different applications. So I thought I'd put together a quick video about soldering irons and soldering. The, uh, there's several types of soldering irons. This is a gun type and uh, it plugs in and uh, this does 140 watts. This is a pretty good all-around gun for doing automotive work or somewhat heavy, uh, heavy wiring. This is a uh, soldering station and uh, you can uh, control the heat on it. I can bump this up and down to whatever heat range I want. This particular one does 850 degrees, heats up quite quick. It has an extremely fine point on it and this thing uh, works really well for doing uh, work on uh, circuit boards and things that uh, um, you really need a small tip. Another soldering iron that you see quite a bit of is the uh, pencil type iron. This is uh, 40 watts and uh, pretty common and this works uh, really well for uh, most electronics work. You can get different tips for it. Uh, it doesn't work as well as this but uh, you can do a lot of different things with a uh, 40 watt iron. Another thing that works great for outdoors is this is a Weller unit but uh, they have pyro pens out. There's different brands and you can put different tips on them. They run on butane so you just uh, flip the thing on ignite it and you've got heat. That, uh, that works great for uh, outside, but if you're gonna be working at a bench, this uh, would not uh, be ideal. So solder, there's lots of uh, different types of solder. 6040 flux core is the most common. You probably wanna use uh, flux core if you're uh, dealing with uh, wiring. It has the uh, flux built in and uh, that's what cleans it and uh, makes it stick. The, uh, you can use solid core wire and use flux in a can, but uh, depending on your application, uh, you know, you might need that or you might not. They also have lead-free solder out now, which uh, in a nutshell sucks. It's an environmental thing and uh, it does not work well. So if uh, you're not worried about that, I would uh, stick with a uh, 6040, which is a combination of uh, lead and uh, tin. There's different uh, variations in solder. Matter of fact, I used to work on uh, street rods and where I would be uh, uh, migrating some new electronics in with uh, possibly some existing wiring that, that you couldn't replace, maybe some pigtails out of a special uh, tail light or something like that. And uh, because of the age of the, uh, the wiring and what it was made out of then, um, I kept several different types of solder around because some solders would work better than others. So let's uh, get started here. I'll give you a quick rundown on, uh, on soldering. When you solder a couple wires together, there's a couple ways to do it. You can either twist them together, which sometimes leaves a, a bulge in the middle. I mean, it may or may not be a big deal, and that will give you some extra strength. But uh, Normally what I like to do is pre-tin my, uh, pre my wires. So we'll start off here. We're going to um, heat up our gun. And one of the things that uh, you need to make sure you do is keep your tip clean. Uh, I typically put a little bit of solder on it. And a damp rag, you'll notice that it cleans that uh, tip right up. So you're always... Uh, uh, cleaning that uh, cleaning that tip, but we're going to go ahead and pre tin this and you will notice when you do that that the solder will wick into the uh, wire if it's working properly. The uh, another trick is sometimes you need to you need to get that wire warm so it helps if you put a little solder on the tip and kind of get it started there to help transfer heat from the gun into the wire. So you can uh, you can take these two wires now and it, sometimes it helps you have to uh, clamp them and hold them together and don't move it uh, for a little bit. Uh, let, it, uh, let it cool down and it should stay shiny. One of the things you'll notice with uh, soldering 
if you solder something, you got this shiny joint and you move it, all of a sudden it'll turn kind of a flat looking color and that will indicate that uh, that's really not a, uh, not a good joint. So we have a solid joint here. I mean, you uh, couldn't pull that uh, apart if you wanted to. I, uh, I always solder all wiring uh, for everything. I don't like using uh, crimp connectors. And another thing you can do is take a piece of uh, shrink tubing when you're done, slide it over the top of the joint, and take a heat gun. A match works just fine, but since I have a heat gun right here, this has the uh, heat gun tip on it. And we can take that, and you'll notice that uh, this is uh, starting to shrink. I think this thing's getting a little low on uh, butane, about ready for a fill up there. Definitely, it'll get the job done here, but uh, it's definitely ready for a uh, for a refill. So uh, we'll shut that off. And uh, we've got a really nice soldered joint here that uh, has shrink tubing on it, keeps the weather out. Same thing with uh, doing uh, <coughs> connectors. The, uh, you know, you have crimp connectors here, which if you're out in elements, is only gonna work uh, so long. I mean, typically these things will uh, end up getting corrosion in them and uh, cause you uh, issues. So what I like to do is, we'll trim this down a little bit here. Take my end, you know, I could pre-tin that if needed and uh, get this up here where we can hold it. This would be a good place to uh, have a clamp. I think I can get her. So now I'm gonna heat up her gun. Gotta get a little heat to that. It, uh, at this point, it's uh, this is what they call a cold solder joint. Now it's starting to flow in there. And it'll flow out flat. You'll see it take off flat like right there when we've got uh, good uh, penetration and good uh, solder into that, uh, into that joint. So that's a uh, good uh, solder joint. You can do the uh, same thing on this end, uh, put a little shrink tube on it, and that makes a uh, much better uh, much better joint than if you just used uh, one of those uh, crimp connectors. So I try to solder everything. Once again, uh, uh, soldering uh, irons are, this is what they call a pencil iron. They all do the same thing. This is a little more wattage, works better for automotive stuff and slightly heavier wire. This is a, you know, a Weller gun. And this is a uh, soldering station. If you uh, do electronics work, uh, this would uh, be a must. These uh, work uh, a lot better. And then of course, if you uh, go outside, you've got the uh, pyro pen. So anyhow, that's a very quick rundown on uh, soldering. If you get any questions, uh, feel free to uh, post in the uh, comments below and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. This is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com.